Ho, hi, ho. We are about to <laughs> check the compost. We go. <laughs> To fill some one gallon pots to start rooted cuttings with. Yes. Here's compost pile one. So, the way that I can tell if it's completely broke down enough because I use such a small amount mm -hmm. is I smell for ammonia. And see, it's all full of worms. The worms are helping do the compost work. It smells like dirt. There's no ammonia smell, which means it's probably ready um, to be used. Excellent. So we're gonna fill this pot, this big mercury pot up. And then when we get up there, I'll show you what else I'll put in. Cool. Okay, so uh, I was gonna tell you a little bit about what's going into this compost piles. I know a lot of people do like household composting. Right. Because I have all these birds, I compost their waste. Yes. So when the coops, when the pine shavings get really gross and filled with poop. <laughs> That's and, what it is, poop. Uh, they start to take on that really funky ammonia-like smell. That's when I clean out the coop and I carry the, the piles from the coop out here. This is a really old compost pile and you can see how it has settled. It's really big and wide, you can see, and, and animals have probably scratched it out because they're attracted to that decomposing smell. Yeah. These two piles are younger in between these trees. Oh, whoops. Yeah. There, there. <laughs> and like, there. there. And those need a little bit more time to break down. And then I also have a, another pile back there that I just started, which will be for next year. Way back there. Yeah. I think that this compost is gonna be the best that I've produced so far. Because as you can see, it's black and rich yeah. and it's loaded with organic material. And I think it's going to be really good, uh, a really good additive to put in the pots because that's, um, the thing is, is that when you compost, depending on what you're using, you can use household uh, kitchen waste. You can use vegetable debris, uh, eggshells, coffee, okay. grounds, all those types of things. But you have to give the compost enough time to break down. And with chicken waste, it's especially important because that is so loaded with nitrogen that if you don't break it down, then it can burn the plants up. So you can tell that it's completely composted by smelling it, and if it just smells like fresh dirt, it's done, it's ready to go. And that's what this smells like. I started digging on the other side of the pile. It still had a little bit of a funky smell. Yeah. I started with this, wet. with the back side of the pile, and as I brought more stuff out, I built it, built it back in this direction. So that's the reason why this side of the pile isn't quite there, but this side is. So that's what we're gonna use. And we're gonna use it to do... We're going to mix this with ground pine bark and perlite, and we're gonna make a potting mix that we use to stick cuttings of native shrubs. And then we're gonna for set the nursery. up- For the nursery. Then we're gonna set up a mister system on a timer <laughs> that, um, that wets the cuttings about five minutes out of every hour, and that will cause them to strike roots. Every time I hear that, I think of a mister, like a person. Yeah. A mister system. It just, I, don't, I know, I never think of water as a mister. I think of mister, mister so and so, yeah. the, the misters, a group of misters. Like, well, I will show you the system once <laughs> I get it out and start setting it up. It's super simple. I got everything that I use to set up the mister system <laughs> on, e on uh, Amazon. <laughs> okay, so we have added the pine bark and the compost, and Tree Man is it's like a giant stirring pot. It's a bathtub. It's a bathtub. And I'm <laughs> not ashamed of it. It makes a great potting table. That's not what I was meaning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was meaning this. The shovel is like a big uh, stirring spoon. I'm stirring up my witch's brew. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So this really black looking stuff is actually crushed pine bark when it starts to decay down. Uh, the reason why I use pine is because it is neutral pH, so it doesn't lower or increase the pH of the potting mix. And that's very important. Yeah. And then you can see some of the compost that's partially broken down. That's actually good because that will uh, add to the soil's ability to hold moisture. So 
We don't want it to hold too much moisture. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go get the perlite. Okay. Now, another great thing about digging in the dirt, cause that's what I call this, is digging in the dirt, is it's very grounding. It is, if, you've, if you are somebody who is into gardening or putting your hands in the sand or the dirt or clay, anything where you get that, even cooking. Like I love to get my hands in when I'm baking or cooking and I get my hands in there and just really knead stuff. When you're kneading this, even with gloves on, you're getting that grounding sensation. So you feel like you're very much in your body. It's very calming and it really helps with mental clarity. So there are some really good benefits of what we're doing aside from growing plants, these gorgeous plants here behind me and raising chickens and eating stuff from it. There's some good mental and emotional components as well. This is perlite and it's sort of like a light foamy textured stuff. It looks like little pieces of styrofoam yeah, coming off it is, of it. It's a, it's a mineral that's mined somewhere. I'm not exactly sure um, where it comes from. But the purpose that this serves in the potting mix is it aerates the soil and it gives the soil the ability to drain really well. So if you get like a big flooding rain, this stuff will help the soil from holding too much moisture for too long and rotting the root system out of the plant that you're trying to grow. So I put four scoops of this in uh, one batch of this soilless potting mix. So my guess is when I was in France and we went to Champagne, um, the region that they grow the Champagne grape, they said that's the only region that you can consider the grape from, to be called Champagne and it had to do with the soil. They do not add additional irrigation because there's something that must be like the, peril, the perlite, perlite yeah. in this in that it holds the water so that when there is a lot of water coming in, it won't drown the plant. And at the same time, when there is um, drought, because it's held the water, it will release it so the plants still get moisture. So yeah, I, there's I, a lot of it, natural soils that have that ability to drain like that. on their own. So that's that, what this does? Yes. Okay. So this is, what we're doing is we're creating an artificial soil with all the best characteristics of the perfect soil that you want to grow a plant in. Okay. And because I grow so many different uh, native species. Look at all the, they go all, they of, go beyond that tree there, all the, the way. In different environments and different soil types. So Here. this is like a general use, perfect soil. Yeah. I mean, that's essentially what we're trying to create. So natural soils have the ability to drain at different levels and that determines a lot about what naturally grows in a different place is what kind of soil there is there. Okay. All right, so this is your finished product. This is your potting mix. And you can see it has organic material in it. There's lots of nutrition because, and we have a little rooster that is just raising cane. I'm sorry for the noise. <laughs> That's part um, of living on the homestead. But it has a lot of organic matter. It has the perlite mixed in uh, really well, so it drains. And the uh, uh, compost gives it a lot of natural organic nutrients that will make this really, really good potting mix. So now we're going to set up a, pot, a spot to set up the mister system in the front and put down some uh, matting. And then we're gonna start this filling black pots. stuff and uh, setting them out and getting ready. Okay. Here are the ones that were done last year, the pots. So yeah. we've got about 49 pots ready. We're gonna probably do what, two or three more loads of that. Yeah. So we're yeah. gonna get up to about 200 pots, close somewhere between 150 and two. Here we go. All right. So I did about four or five species last year from rooted cuttings. And I have this shrubby St. John's wort, which is a- St. John's wort? It's, yeah, it's a <laughs> flowering, shrub but it's also a medicinal plant yep um, and these need to be trimmed good for one of the things it's good for is anxiety then i have this which is button bush button bush button bush is a really common wetland shrub it's pretty and that took it struck from that cutting which is the base Right there, and you can see it's a big plant now. Yeah, that's and this was a year ago, right? Yeah, and then 
these are little spireas. That's a weed, but this <laughs> is a spirea. Um, and it's a pink, I can't remember the exact, but it's a pink flowering spirea, which also needs to be trimmed. If you take a little small shrub like this and you snip the top side of it, it'll cause it to root sprout and it'll cause it to thicken up, which is what you want from a shrub. So, um, I think that's pretty much all that I have. But you so while we were outside getting things ready to pot, Eli made homemade biscuits yeah. and eggs to put on with all this yummy jack. So what are we doing next? We're gonna go shovel some composted poo. We're gonna let Eli here try his hand at shoveling poo. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Eli? Yay! You don't want to be. Blast. You don't want to be on the YouTube. <laughs> Twelve, I guess, doesn't want to be on the YouTube. Oh, okay. It's a blast. <laughs> sure, with all the crap. Round three. It don't <laughs> stink. Not much. Here we go. Okay, so we have filled all the pots with potting mix. There's around 150. Right now we're setting up some of these wood stakes. By the way, I actually repurposed some old silk fence. I took the silk fence off and we're using the stakes for the silk fence, fence and we're going to hang the uh, misters and the water lines from okay. these stakes. As long as it's sturdy. So, connects be back. To the hose and those all connect to the thingies yep. with and the, the mist plants? comes out of these little heads right so here. So those cool. are misters. Yeah. How often do they um, spray? I have a timer and I set it for once every uh, hour for about five minutes. Cool. All right. You got so all that right in. Now, so are you wrapping it kind of like a fence in a way? When you look in that box over there, there's some zip ties. We're going to zip tie this. <laughs> what are you going to, you're going to zip tie it how? I'm gonna zip tie the water line to the post. Rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> but just to say it hurts like sugar puffs and rainbows. No, like it makes you say sugar puffs and rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> so these are tees, little plastic fittings. Oh, that's how they connect. And this mister head fits onto the bottom, but you gotta be able to hook these two ends of hose line together. Can I do now, that? Now is that Mr. So, Red number one or number ten? That's number twenty-six. <laughs> Okay. So you just push it on okay. over this little flange, lip, whatever you want to call it. I like lip. Like so. Yeah. And then the other end of your line you push on. Oh, it's really like hilarious today. See there? There we go. Yes. And then you take one of those Mr. Okay. Heads. These? Yep. And you just pop it right on here like this. Cool. Oh, I got the wrong fitting. Uh oh. Oh. Time out. As Tree Man said, it's been a day or two since he's done this last. So, okay. my mistake was I picked a three way with a flange, and what I need is this because the Mr. Head slides onto that. Okay. So, I got to. These are adjustable this way by turning them like this. And then this little nozzle right here is adjustable. Can't even way. tell if I got it. I hope you can see. See, so you get yeah. it pointed inward toward the pots. And these are the misters. There's a whole group of them. They look like little twinkle lights. It's like a little party section it's so for, simple, the, it's for the crazy. plant, for the pots. Mm. Yeah. But it works. So and like we, we we upcycled and reused and re everything, all this stuff that's here. Everything here. None of it's new. Yeah. Except for the mister part, right? Yep. Mister part is new. But the posts, the black shiny stuff, even the pots. Oh, thanks for the bath there, buddy. Yeah, he just missed. I just stuck a cube down True Man's shirt. <laughs> Where'd it go, babe? In my drawers. In your drawers? Yeah. Cause it's nice and chilly in your drawers now. <laughs> he says nothing. <laughs> <laughs>